Nobody's going to understand you, though, if you say it costs that much. So just remember what we're talking about and try to make it as, you know, what you would say, what you would say, um, what you would, there it is. Uh, say just to somebody who didn't understand any of this. Okay. So we're doing this problem. It's number eight in the Kahoot, number eight. And let me zoom out so everyone could see. All right, so we have number eight in the Kahoot. Okay. And this is from the 1.11 to 1.22 review. Okay, it's an assignment in your class. All right, here's the thing. We know this. A builder con contractor buys 525 bars. Because he buys more than 500, you guys know when you buy more than a certain amount, they're gonna give you some kind of discount. So because he's buying more than 500, the wholesaler gives him a discount. Discount is always subtraction, a discount of $420. Okay, this is dollars, that's bars. Okay, the total price, we like it when we see total, because we know that goes on the right side, is $3,780. So as mentioned, the total always goes on the right side. Okay, so this is an equation, so we can put an equal sign, makes it a little easier. And um, with this, gotcha. We're going to have total cost, total, and this is going to be the cost of the bars minus the discount, okay? So since it's the cost of the bars minus the discount, I know we have 525 bars, but something doesn't cost 20, 525 bars, right? Unless it's bars of gold or something weird. We have 20, two, 525 bars. We got to know how much that is. We're going to write 525 bars because how much it costs times 525 is going to be how much it costs minus the four hundred dollars four hundred twenty dollars they gave us for the discount and line down the equal sign let's go ahead and add 420 to both sides that negates it on the left 525b is equal to 0633 then we just have to divide by 525 on both sides. Remember, whatever you're doing, it's 525 times B, so we're going to divide by that amount we want to get rid of. See ya. B is, I want to check this. So double check your work, especially if I noted that you had maybe your value for B incorrectly. Make sure that you put in your calculator here, and this is actually going to help me check if you have it in the right mode for your calculator. All right, so I get six dollars and 40 cents per bar metal bar okay and that would be that would be my answer okay uh yes so three thousand seven hundred eighty plus four twenty that equals uh 45 uh sorry 4200 Okay, because I subtracted, I added instead of, I subtract instead of added. In class, you, Marco, would get a Starburst for correcting me. <laughs> and all of us made this. I think I, uh, I did the mistake that everybody did. Because look, let's rewrite it. Thank you, Marcos. And if you're frustrated with that, I mean, I don't get too frustrated when you all mess up so keep that in mind all right so we are gonna yeah add 420 yeah you caught me you could put a line there too i like to do that sometimes just to remind me i'm just adding them oh, okay so we get zero zero one that's five that's two four hundred so four thousand two hundred yeah four thousand two hundred okay this is where most of us made the mistake divided by the 520, five, and we get 4,200 divided by 525. Fati is the winner. She is the one that had this in it. Good job. Per metal bar. Everyone else is going to learn from our mistake, including me. I, got, I went too quick here. I know it's a discount of minus 420. I added, but then I got over here and 
I'm not sure I decided to subtract them, even though I wrote an addition right there. It'll happen. That's why afterwards I would go back in and double check everything. All right. Good, Camilla. You got it. You got it. Okay. Okay, Kimberly, double check your your um, equation right there because it was a discount of $420. So keep that in mind. Discount is subtraction. Okay. All right. That is it for this problem. Let me pause. All right, guys. So I look at this for number nine. It says it took Sharon 85 minutes to wash all three cars. So the total time is 85 minutes. She spent, that's the next bullet point, X minutes for each car. Okay. The last one, 10 minutes to clean up. All right. How many minutes did she take uh, on each car? Okay. There you go, Marco. Perfect. Liliana, good. All right. So watch what I'm going to do. The total, where does the total go? Always on the right. All right. So I'm going to go in here and put 85 minutes over there. Now we know that she definitely, they definitely put the cleanup time in there. So cleanup is 10 minutes. We're adding that, right? Because we're talking about the amount of time we're putting together. So watch. We have three cars times x plus 10 minutes gets us 85 minutes so when i set this up i'm going to minus 10 minus 10 3x is equal to 75 divide it divide it x is 25 minutes each car that would be 100 percent full credit 100 percent full credit okay so keep that in mind that uh, you have to have units. Good, Camilla, that's perfect units. Perfect. Okay, Marco, that looks good too. I like how it's it's worded. Um, well, part of that's worded interesting, but it was thorough. That's what I like. All right, let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. All right, we got about 15 minutes left. I think I'll have time to get through these I might be skipping ahead so don't start this just yet okay here we go okay this is another equation it has a discount let's do this one and then we'll do a couple of inequalities okay Abby went to the mall to buy a gift she found a store that's having a store by 25% off she has spent $80 or she can spend 80 what's the most expensive item you could buy Hmm. Okay, let's see. Nice. All right, let's see. Um, Zach, go ahead and give me the equation for it. Can you write the whole equation out? I'm seeing a couple good, um, some answers that are saying 60. I'm seeing others that are saying 100. Okay, and now, right now it's about mixed. So uh, let's see if we uh, get any more input. Uh, give me just a second. Okay. Okay. Um, so what I said yeah. in the equation, I'm not sure though. I said... Um, uh, I said 80 plus 25% equals X. Uh, we're going to order it differently than that, actually. I'll go over this problem, okay? I'll lower this problem. No worries. Um, let's do that. $80 total. I see, I see. 
Okay, wait. Is that what you guys are thinking? Hmm. Let me see. That's what you're thinking. Mm -hmm. Close, close. Remember, $80 is what you have in your pocket. $80 is what you have in your pocket. So, um, Evie, switch around where you have 80s, the two 80s, and the X. Switch those positions. So the 80s become X, the X becomes 80. Because remember, the total goes on the right. I'll go over this one. How about that? And I see a few folks need this. This is probably the hardest one we'll face because it has that it has that tax in it. Um, and it's still recording, so I'm just going to jump right into it. All right. So for number 10, we put down this information. Uh, Abby has, how did it write it? It wrote it as Abby went to the mall to buy a gift. She found a store that's having a store-wide a 25% uh, discount. Okay, She has 80 to spend. She's not going to go buy an $80 gift because you get 25% off. right? So $80 is what is the total. Total, remember, always goes on the right side. All right. 25% discount. Let's get to that in a sec. We're going to find the most expensive item she could buy. We'll call that X. Call that X. Okay. So now over here, this is going to be the subtotal minus the discount because it's a discount. We're going to minus the values away. Hmm. That's interesting. All right. So I hope you can see it in both of the pictures now. This is confusing. Can you guys see it? Yeah. All right. So let's look here. The subtotal is just how much the item costs before the discount. That's going to be the most expensive item that we can buy. The most expensive item we can buy, we didn't know the amount, but we're going to call that X. Now, that would be the subtotal if I just went and I said, oh, there's, you know, here's the shirt I want. Okay. But we have a discount on that. So here's my question to you. And I want you to get ready to write it in the chat. If I have 25% of, um, well, the item I'm buying is X, how are we, what are we going to express there? Think about what the word of means and go ahead and write it in the chat. How am I going to express the discount? What is 25% of X? Of means multiply. Very good. Of means multiply. So what should I put in there? Okay, we need to express 25% as a decimal. So if you said 25, I want you to write this. First, first, change to a decimal. Okay. It's close. It's close. Uh, Jeremy, very close. My first question is why is 80 on the left side of the fraction? Why? Or the, uh, the equation? So look. 25% is 0 0.25 of is multiplication. So it's 0 0.25 times X. So let's think about that. You go and buy a shirt. You don't know how much it costs, but you're going to subtract from that 25%. So 25% of the cost of the shirt is 0.25 X. Right. So we have one X. We have 0.25 X. If we subtract one minus 0.25, we get um, 0.75x is equal to 80. Yeah, that's that's one way you could get it, Jeremy. Yeah, that's not that's just one other way you could do it. Yeah, um, clever. You subtract these, you combine it, you have one X, you minus a quarter of an X, you get three quarters of an X. And now we'll just divide it 0.75 on both sides. 0.75. Okay, gone. X is, so 80 divided by 0.75. Oh man, that's really different. Um, 
There we go. That's fine. One minus that. Divide by. I have $106.67. Max cost of item. And let me just double check that because I'm going to go ahead and times that by 0.25 to see what the discount was. Okay. And when I do that and I subtract that discount from 106.67, yep, I get $80. Okay. Now this is James. James isn't in this class. All right, um, here's what would be in the answer. And I see that X minus, okay, Marco, you got it. Good, good. Okay, this one, this one I can see is giving folks trouble. Did you agree? How do you feel about this one? Thumbs up, sideways, or down? Yeah, give it to me, give it to me, down here, okay. I don't like how this one is exactly worded, so, um, I'm not going to give you one similar to this, but it will be. Yeah, discounts are tricky. Discounts are tricky. All right, how about this? But I want you to know how to do this because honestly, you're going to get taken if you go to a store and they say, well, here's the discount. But, you know, I want you not to be tricked. <laughs> like you go buy a used car. If you, if you can check their math, then you could say, hey, you said it would be less than that. Okay. So that is number 10. And we're going to uh, go ahead and go all the way back. We're going to go to the uh, some uh, inequality problems now. I'll make the equal ones, the equations, a little bit more straightforward. And um, the hardest part might be are these inequalities. But let's see. Let's see. All right, I'm going to skip. I'm going to skip. And now we have an actual question. Wow. Which inequality represents the word problem? And I'm going to pause this time. All right. And we are recording again. Perfect. All right. So this was number what? Number number 12. Okay. So with number 12, we know that on the three city tour, here's our three cities, right? We know that at least, at least 120, at least 120,000 came to all of them. So I'm going to put that on the right because that is my total of all the cities. And let's go ahead and mark that one done. Okay. At least is going to come in handy in a moment. So we know the at least is going to give us the inequality that goes between them. Now, Mesa was 45,000. It's Mesa. Plus Denver was 33,000. Plus Las Vegas. I'm just going to call LV. Uh, I'm going to call it L. Okay. We'll just keep one variable so we don't get confused. Oh, no. All right. So let's go ahead and add these together right here. We can combine these and end up with uh, 78,000 plus L. And we actually forgot. We got to do that inequality. Now let's look at it. Um, they're saying that you, you uh, played to at least 120,000. You played to at least 120,000. Is it okay if you played to 150,000? If I said you played to at least 120,000, is does it make sense if I end up playing to 130, 140, 150, 160,000? It's fine because it, it says at least we know that it could be equal to 120,000, but we know that this value of a three cities could be even more than the 120 as well. So the main thing is once you know this, this is the hardest part I see at least 120, would it be okay if we had 150? If I said, you better have at least 120, is it okay to have 150? Yes. Is it okay if I said at least 120, could you have 120? Yeah, you can have that. Could you have 100,000? No. So because I know that the amount that the three cities could total could be equal to 120, I put that symbol. Could be greater than 120, and I put that. And you could have picked any number. You could pick 60. It's 160, you could put 1 million. Any number larger or lower than the total will help us figure out this word right here. Okay. All right, we got time for one more problem. And let's pause it. Get it. Pause. That was quick. 
All right, we have, this is our number 13. This can be the last problem before I check you guys out of class today. Thanks for your attention. Good job. All right, 13. So looking at the media here, we have uh, to play a football on the football team, seventh graders must weigh no more, no more than 110 pounds. Okay. Your neighbor is in the seventh grade and weighs 94 pounds. That's your neighbor. All right. Now, uh, write and solve an inequality that represents how much weight your neighbor can gain. Okay. Uh, how many pounds gained, right? Uh, and still meet the requirement. Okay. So I know that this no more than 110, I'm going to put it on the right side, left side, right side. I'm going to do it both ways just so you know and see that it doesn't matter. So I'm going to make one equation here and one here. All right. Right now, we know that we have this as our max. Okay. We have this over here as the weight of your neighbor. So right now, they're 94. And we can add because we're talking about gaining some more pounds. And I'm going to just call that add weight because that's what they put to, right? Or no, they put next. I'll just keep it what it is. Okay. Now, let's look at this. We have the weight, because if we add weight, this is still on the left side going to be his weight, okay? On the right side is the max weight. Now, can this weight over here, since it could be no more than 110, could this weight over here be 100 pounds after we add it together? 100 pounds, that'd work, okay? Could this weight be 150 pounds? Would you be too big if you gained weight and you were 150 pounds? Yeah, because you can be no more than 110. So watch. This weight over here has to be less than or equal to 110, okay? Now, if you did it this way, you would have 110. You'd have, well, 94 plus X is going to be how much they weigh. This is our max. So in this case, I have to look at it and say, well, can the weight be more than 110? Could I be 150 pounds and play with seventh graders? No. So in this case, the weight um, has to be less than or equal to, um, reading it this way, I shouldn't do that. 110 has to be greater than or equal to whatever the weight ends up being. It's written that way. Your on the test will be written this way. Let's keep the same method. I actually missed that question that it had it written different. Okay. And actually, I think the people that chose that, um, the people that chose that actually had it right. It just was, uh, it was just worded weird. So it messed us up. Let's see if I can do this and show who did what. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like that that blue was just messing us up because of the other direction. So we're, we're okay with it. Let's see who won, and then I'll check you guys out by ringing the bell. Eliana, come from behind. Jeez. And Camilla, Zulin, Haley, Deanna. All right, on the board. All right, guys. Remember, on Monday... Uh, if you need help before Monday, you need to email me quickly. Uh, I could probably set up a time tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Okay, so try to do some of these problems um, to review. There's a couple more in the Kahoot. Uh, that assignment is for you to do if you need extra help. It isn't worth any points. We did it in class. But if you need a couple more examples, you could do it. And I suggest, I suggest doing that, though it's not going to be worth uh, points. It's still useful. All right, guys, thanks for joining. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday. And I'll see ya on Monday. All right. See you guys later. You guys, uh, you guys help me distress a little bit. I feel a little better, especially uh, with funny things in the comments. <laughs> All right. Have a good day, guys. Have a good day. Thank you. Yeah. See ya. Take care. <laughs>